Mary has three red boxes of the same kind and two green boxes of the same kind. In how many ways can she arrange these items in a line? So suppose we have three boxes, red boxes, and we also have two green boxes. Now let's try to analyze kung paano natin kunin yung permutations ng five boxes. As we all know, we know that the permutations of the boxes is 5 factorial, but the red boxes can be permuted in 3 factorial ways and do not produce a different result since the red boxes is the same. Also, the green boxes can be permuted in 2 factorial ways and still do not produce a different result. Hence, the number of distinguishable permutations P is given by P is equal to 5 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So kung titignan natin, kung i-consider natin lahat ng objects, we are going to write that once a numerator. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 boxes. And we're going to divide it sa mga objects na nag-repeat. So kung papansinin natin, we have 3 boxes na magkaparehas. So, we're going to divide it by 3 factorial. Also, we have 2 green boxes na magkaparehas. So, ilalagay din natin yung 2 factorial sa denominator. Simplifying it, we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 3 times 2 times 1. Ito yung sa 3 factorial times 2 times 1. Ito naman yung sa 2 factorial. After which, we're going to cancel out yung common. So, we can cancel 3, 2, and 1. Ito yung mga common factors natin. Sa denominator din, pwede natin i-cancel sa 3, 2, and 1. So, yung matitira na lang would be 5 times 4 and 2. So, 5 times 4, that would be equal to 20. 20 divided by 2, it would be equal to 10. Okay, so, ang tanong, bakit pa may denominator tayo dito? So, itong denominator dito, ito yung nag-represent ng mga objects na repeated. So, kahit ano pa yung arrangement natin sa 3 boxes, since same sila ng attributes or characteristics, same sila ng kulay, wala pa rin difference na makikita. So, kailangan natin siyang i-divide. Also with the green boxes. And this topic is all about permutation with identical objects. So the number of permutation of N things where A things are alike, B things are alike, and C things are alike, and so forth is P is equal to N factorial over A factorial times b factorial, times c factorial, and so on. So, yung mga variables na a, b, and c, ito yung nagre-represent sa mga objects na identical. So, kung meron tayong dalawang objects na identical, so we're going to use a and b. Kung tatlo naman, we are going to use a, b, and c, and so on. Let's solve this problem. Find the number of distinct permutations of the letters of the word Philippines. So, yung pinakauna nating aalamin is yung total number ng letters ng word na Philippines. So, we have 11 letters. So, kung titignan natin na mabuti, ano yung mga letters na nag-repeat? So, we have letter P. So, yung letter P repeats 3 times. We have 1, 2, and 3. Also, we have letter I. Yung I naman also repeats three times. So using the formula, we have P is equal to N factorial over A factorial times B factorial. So hanggang B lang tayo kasi nga dalawang letters lang yung nag-repeat. Ito substitute lang natin yung mga given. We have 11 factorial all over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So, 
we have sa numerator natin, we have 39,916,800 then divided by 36. So, bakit naging 36 dito? Because 3 factorial is 6. So, magiging 6 times 6, that is 36. Divide natin yung dalawa. Then, we will have 1,108,800 ways. Next problem. In how many ways can 9 chairs be arranged in a row if there are 4 blue chairs, 3 red chairs, and 2 yellow chairs? So, same sa ginawa natin kanina, uunahin muna natin yung total number of objects. We have 9 chairs. So, n would be equal to 9. So, ano yung mga identical na mga objects? Blue, we have 4 blue chairs. We also have 3 red chairs. And we have 2 yellow chairs. So, yung formula na gagamitin natin would be P is equal to n factorial all over a factorial times b factorial times c factorial. So, tatlong var variables na yung gagamitin natin kasi nga tatlong identical objects yung pinagay sa problem. Substitute lang natin yung mga given. Then, after that one, we are going to get the factorial. So, it would be 362,880 all over 288. Divide natin yung dalawa. And the answer would be 1,260 ways. Now, how about this problem? In how many ways can we arrange four people in a circle? So, if you have a circle, ibig sabihin nito, we're going to arrange four people around it. So, uupo sila sa isang circular table. So, ano kaya yung magiging sagot? Now, most of you would answer four factorial. But, 4 factorial is not the correct answer. The correct answer would be the quantity of 4 minus 1 quantity factorial. So, bakit kaya naging ganito? Bakit kaya naging ganito yung answer natin? So, kailangan man natin intindihin yung process. So, aalamin mo na natin kung how many ways can we arrange four people in a row? So, i-arrange muna natin sila in a row. So, para ma-illustrate ito, kailangan natin ng four slots. At yung unang tanong is that, how many ways can the first person sit in a row? So, we have four ways. So, yung first person can sit dito, sa second, sa third slot, or sa fourth slot. Now, given na occupied na ng first person yung first slot, ilang ways na lang yung second person na makakaupo sa row. So, he or she has three more ways. Dito na slot, dito, or sa panghuli na slot. And the pattern goes on, third person has two ways, and the fourth person has one way. And this can be represented as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or also known as 4 factorial. So, 4 factorial yung sagot natin if we're going to arrange 4 people in a row. And we're going to get this concept or use this concept para maintindihan natin how many ways can we arrange 4 people in a circular table. Let's try to compare. So, ito na yung solution natin sa arrangement ng 4 people in a row. Now, let's try arranging four people in a circle. So, suppose ito yung circular table natin and we have four chairs around it. So, you may think na yung first person has four ways na makakaupo sa circular table or around the circular table. But, four is not the correct answer. Okay, bakit kaya... Mali yung 4. Alamin natin. Let's try to examine the circular table. So, kung ito yung circular table and it has 4 chairs around it. So, let's consider the first person. Kung yung first person ay uupo dito na slot, let's describe his view. So, yung view ng first person kung dito siya uupo is that meron siyang upuan or merong upuan na kaharap niya. 
meron ding upuan sa left side niya. At meron ding upuan sa right side niya. Okay. Now, paano naman kung dito uupo si first person? Let's describe his view. So, meron siyang upuan or meron upuan sa harap niya. Meron ding upuan sa right side niya. And meron ding upuan sa left side niya. How about kung dito naman upo yung first person? So, let's de describe his view. Again, meron upuan sa harap niya. Meron ding upuan sa left side niya. At meron ding upuan sa right side niya. So, same goes with the last seat. So, kung papansinin natin, kahit saan uupo yung first person, he has the same view. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung pag-upo niya dito sa upuan, ito na side, ay walang pagkakaiba dun sa pag-upo niya sa other seats. Kaya, yung sagot natin sa tanong na, in how many ways can the first person sit on a circular table, yung answer natin would be equal to one way. So, isang way lang kasi nga magkaparehas yung mga views nila. Next would be the second person. Ilang ways naman makakaupo yung second person around a circular table. So, let us say occupied na itong seat na ito, itong upuan na ito. So, titignan natin yung view naman ng second person. Halimbawa, yung second person ay upo dito. So, yung view niya would be may upuan sa harap niya. May upuan din sa right side niya. At may upuan din sa left side niya. Kaso, yung pagkakaiba, yung sa left side niya ay occupied na. Ibig sabihin, may tao. Now, let us say dito upo yung second person. Let's describe his view. May upuan sa harap niya. May upuan din sa left side niya. At may upuan din sa right side niya. Pero dun sa right side niya ay may occupied na na upuan. So, ibig sabihin, yung first na seat, itong color red, ay may pagkakaiba dun sa color yellow. Okay? Same goes with the last seat. Kasi nga, ba bakit sila may pagkakaiba? Kasi nga, meron na tayong reference point. Yung reference point natin is that yung pinakaunang seat na na-occupy. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, kung dito uupo yung second person, ay magkaiba kung dito siya uupo or dito siya uupo sa last na upuan. So, how many ways can the second person sit around a circular table? We have one, two, and three. So, the answer is three ways. And the pattern goes on. So, yung third person can sit in two ways kasi nga occupied na yung dalawang upuan. And the fourth person can only sit in one way kasi occupied na yung tatlong Upuan. So, if we're going to write this one in symbols, we have 1 times 3 factorial. Ito yung 3 factorial natin sa second to fourth person. 3 times 2 times 1, that is 3 factorial. Or, simply 3 factorial. Kasi 1 times 3 factorial is equal to 3 factorial. So, if we're going to compare yung sagot natin sa pag-arrange ng 4 people in a row and pag-arrange ng 4 people around a circular table, we have 4 factorial and 3 factorial. And suppose 4 is our n, so that would be written as p is equal to n factorial. And para ma-represent naman natin yung 3 factorial, that would be n minus 1. So, n minus 1 kasi nga yung n natin is 4. So, babawasan lang natin yung n natin na 4 ng 1 para makuha natin yung 3. So, magiging 3 factorial siya. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin na formula. So, this would be about circular permutation. This is our second topic.
So the number of circular permutation of n objects is p is equal to the quantity n minus 1 quantity factorial. So ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Suppose we have this problem. Find the number of circular permutations of 8 students. So gagamitin lang natin yung formula natin. We have p is equal to the quantity of n minus 1 quantity factorial. So substitute natin yung 8 yung value ng n natin. So, since we're going to subtract 1, then it will become 7 factorial. So, 7 factorial is equal to 5,040 weights. weights. Next problem. In how many ways can 10 public officials sit around a circular table? Same formula yung gagamitin natin. So, that would be 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1, it will become 9 factorial. And finally, the answer would be 362,880 weights. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.